they ask you any question, just tell them they look like monkeys. <laughs> 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 and uh, we, right now we've got four. We've got four farmers in here. One, two, three, and this is four. They call it suit. Can you see why they call it suit seven? Yes, zero 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 seven. Suit seven. That's why they call it suit seven. <laughs> launch director. Okay, I just hope. Launch director. Now look, he's the launch director from Bloomington, Illinois. And Bill says so. I said so. He's normal. <laughs> normal. For the new rocket called the Space Launch System. And that rocket is incredible. Five segment boosters. It'll use up to five hours, 25 inches. Good rocket. Good rocket. Bill? Take So they would open that door and then we'd bring the Saturn V moon rocket parts through that door. The parts of the rocket or shuttle from the transfer aisle into the high bay. The big bridge cranes had to lift all the major parts one at a time and they had to lift them to the ceiling all the way, way up to the top. And then they had to pass those parts through that rectangular opening. They had to go through there over and then down into that high bay on top of the mobile launch platform. Now the road straight ahead is where those astronauts would go in the astro van. They go up to the center main structure and they take an elevator up. center of the pad. The old Apollo days, that's the emergency egress tunnel from the rubber room right there. There's the barricades on the top oh, for the, the, the zip lines. The bunker is that concrete structure right there. Parked right next to there would have been that armored personnel carrier tank. January morning, middle of winter, January 28, 1986. We launched Challenger from here. Temperature at launch time was 30 degrees Fahrenheit, below freezing. 73 seconds after launch of Challenger from here, it penetrates the orange tank, and then we lose her. Hi, friends, how are you? 